interesting. In, that, in 1918, which is exactly 100 years ago, it's coming up on the end of uh, World War I, and Wilson has a senator in his office, and he's, he says to him, he's talking to him about his vision of peace and the League of Nations, and Wilson says, I am playing for 100 years hence. So here we are, exactly 100 years hence. And what has happened is the United States, the Senate never ratified the treaty, and the United States never joined the League of Nations. But the idea didn't really go away, because Franklin Roosevelt thought there should be something like that, and they did Wilson 2.0 to create the UN. So we've been living since the end of World War II with the order that uh, FDR and his advisors created on the sort of ruins of the League of Nations that incorporates some of Wilson's ideas, and then there are changes as well. So now that order is under threat, not just in the United States, but in, in Europe and elsewhere in the world. We're seeing, you know, if you're thinking about can the, you know, the world must be made safe for democracy, that's a good question. You know, can the world be made safe for democracy? We should all be asking ourselves that right now. And the idea of, Wilson understood the importance of global cooperation. Wilson would have been like right there as part of the Paris, uh, climate accord and Wilson understood that you know you, it's better to be part of something than outside it and the climate you know the climate is going to change uh, whether we're part of the accord or not right so uh, better to be part of the discussion than not um, we're seeing the rise of these strong men uh, in the in the Philippines and all over Eastern Europe Hungary Poland uh, the rise of these um, right-wing xenophobic candidates um, all over Europe so uh, the democratic order that you know Wilson kind of envisioned and FDR and Truman brought into being is now under siege, and I see Trump as a part of that. You know, he's part of the siege, um, and it's I think it's good for Americans to remember that this is part of a global thing. It's not just happening in the United States. That makes it, in my mind, more urgent. <laughs> Thank you.